strong as hell. That's what President Biden declared the economy to be last fall. More recently, Janet Yellen said, you don't have a recession when you have the lowest unemployment rate in more than 50 years. But as the latest CNBC All America Economic Survey makes clear, persistently low unemployment isn't necessarily a synonym for household prosperity. According to survey results, 69% of the country holds negative views about the economy, both now and in the future. It's the highest percentage ever recorded in the history of the survey, which was first conducted in 2007. The poll numbers underscore a significant disconnect between how consumers see the health of the economy and how the Biden administration sees it. For example, a particularly popular White House talking point has been the jobless figure. According to official numbers, unemployment remains near its lowest level in the last half century. But the admittedly robust unemployment number hides a dark and compelling reality. Real wages have declined every month for the last two years. Echoing that data in a recent public statement, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy declared that Americans have received a pay cut for 24 consecutive months, the longest streak in American history. McCarthy added that since President Biden took office, families have lost the equivalent of $7,400 worth of income. Sure enough, the All-America survey revealed that two-thirds of Americans say their wages are losing ground to inflation. Along the same lines, another recent CNBC poll found nearly two-thirds of the country is living paycheck to paycheck, and that nearly half of Americans are working a second job to make ends meet. Against the backdrop of all of these everyday struggles, the All-America survey also found, unsurprisingly, that two-thirds of Americans think the country is either headed for a recession or mired in one already. The question now is, do we agree with President Biden when he declares that the economy is strong as hell? Apparently, the personal financial hardships being endured by nearly 70% of the country is not one of the indicators the Biden administration is using. Until next time.